Hello everybody, welcome back to Hermitcraft. My name is Sammy Splatsalot, and today we are gonna be doing some science with anvils. Because I've been thinking, right? We're making Toon Towers here. We're making a cartoon-based base. We need base 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 base. We we need more cartoony bits around here. We need more things that fit into those kind of classic, iconic cartoon moments and what better what what is more iconic than the falling anvil right i mean all the looney tunes cartoons everything has all the falling anvils people are falling by getting hit by anvils all the time so what i want to do today is kind of get the ball rolling for the idea that my entire base is going to have tons and tons of anvils flying all around. Like, we're not going to have people getting squished by anvils. Oh, that would be pretty funny. What we're going to do is set up, like, these anvil launchers that are just lobbing anvils between the buildings all around in different directions and have it be a renewable thing so that I don't have to keep adding anvils to it. The anvils just never die. Oh yeah, I should also point out that I have a roof on all the buildings now, or all the major buildings. I added the roof on the orange building here, like this, with the carpet everywhere, and the roof on this building. Now this one's got a little bit of a stripe here because I kind of derped a little bit, and this is actually like the top of the portal room that got covered up and stuff. So I, we're probably going to put some stuff on these roofs. Uh, like our first anvil launcher is going to go over there, I think, today. And then I've also got plans for adding stuff on top of this roof. We may get to that today. It all depends on time. We'll see. Uh, but I want to get started on the anvil stuff because that's what I'm super excited about. So we've got some science to do. Okay, so you all know about anvil launchers, right? Like slime blocks, you can like boop and shoot anvils and they go super far and everything. That's kind of the premise of what we're working on here. We're going to introduce a couple of things that are at least new to me, which I'm excited about. But this is the basic concept right here. Okay, I'm going to place an anvil right here. And this piston will retract, allowing the anvil to fall. As it's falling, that slime block launcher there is going to go boink and shoot it up in the air. And the timing is just right. As it's flying up, this guy right here is going to and just shoot it. And it's going to go flying and splat down there. So completely untested. It's probably broken. Let's see. Totally broken. It helps sometimes, just sometimes, if your slime block isn't trying to pull the entire machine with it. <laughs> Anyways, made some changes here. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. And go. And drop. Bounce. Dip, boop. Hmm. Oh, it did work. <laughs> it did work. The lag was so bad. Okay, let's try that again. I think it's just the lag that's super bad. Pull. Bounce. There it goes. Oh, the lag is so bad. <laughs> okay, so the next piece of science, and this I did not know. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but I did not know this, and this is what's really going to help today a lot, too. Anvils are affected by bubble vaders. So right here, we've got a soul sand elevator where anything you throw in there, right, is just going to be like, swoop, up to the top and shoot out the top, okay? That, that works for anvils. So check this out, right? We've got like just a stupid little system here where I'm going to like drop an anvil, okay? And right here. And the lag is really bad with people on right now, but I'm going to drop that. This slime block should push it sideways and it's still a falling block at that point. So it should go into that bubble vader and get swooped. Get totally swooped. Here we go. Uh, push. Zip. There it goes. Okay. Again, some glitching lag, but you can see it worked. And that is amazing now there's one more piece of science that's going to tie this all together and let us do some crazy things and for that we need to go visit chunks thank you for that we need to go visit honeytown we gotta go visit azuma's shop here because i need some honey blocks oh no oh no he's out of honey blocks i mean can i just take some from the ceiling here oh right 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 honey bottles make honey blocks, right? I, I'm such a noob with this stuff. I haven't touched honey at all yet. So one diamond for two stacks. So eh, eh, and we'll give him a diamond. And then now does he have a crafting table? Around? Oh, I don't even need one, right? Bam, honey blocks, uh, eight. We're going to need more than that. Let's double up one, two. Uh, all right. Plenty of honey blocks for the science because what honey blocks allow us to do now, as you guys know, a stack of honey, right? That's all swooped up like this. Okay. When something hits it, sticky situation, I'm, I'm unlocking achievements right before your eyes. What happens now is when an item hits this thing, right? Well, it's not going to work, I guess, because it's not, it's, it's not pushed against it. But anyways, when the anvil flies against it and it sticks to the honey block, right? It like oozes down the side and it will slowly slide down. And what this does is it allows us to kind of 
catch the anvil. And the important thing is that makes the anvil not take damage. Because as you guys know, a lot of these slime block launchers and stuff, they're great and all, but eventually every time the anvil lands, it takes damage. But what we have now is a way to lift item, lift anvils up in the air with the bubble vader, shoot them across with the slime block launcher, catch them with a honey wall, if you will, like this, and shoot it back across with another slime block launcher and keep the loop going. And this whole time, the anvil takes no damage. So we've created an infinite loop. So now you should be seeing where I'm going with this. I want to take this concept and, and just cartoon it up. I want anvils flying all around my base now. I want to make not a hundred maybe, but a good handful of anvil launcher loops everywhere. And I think I want to do the first one that I want to like go from like building to building basically. I want the first one I think to launch from like come out of the blue building right here. I want to build a gun, a gun that looks very similar to the creeper cannon, just smaller scale. And it's going to launch an anvil somewhere over there, probably in that range. Okay. And then it's going to go underneath inside the yellow building and pop from the yellow building out and like just kind of swoop out of here, go through the blue wall into a bubble vader there and go back up to the top. So let's get started. Here we are. I have up on top of the blue roof here, I have the beginnings of my cannonator here that's going to launch the items up here. We got like a uh, a, a bubble vader that goes from way down below there. The anvil is gonna, it's gonna fly up here and be like shoo. And as soon as it does, trick this thing right here, boop, little redstone, and boom. This guy is gonna, so it's gonna be flying up, and then this guy's gonna just go punt and launch him like crazy far. Because remember, he's gonna have seriously high upward velocity and now high outward velocity. So it's gonna arc across here, and I think it should land like somewhere down here, okay? Now, coming down here, <laughs> we've got the, uh, this is the bubble vader here. I had to redirect my iron output and everything. It's just, it's just a hot mess. But anyways, see those little, uh, those gates, those fence gates? That is, in theory, where the anvil should fly into. So that's how we make a bubble vader that an anvil can just, like, shoot right into without any problem. And I made this temp thing here now. This is basically my, like, my primer here. And we won't need this shortly, but we do right now. Once we build... Once we build some of the pieces underneath this yellow building, it'll work fine, but... Uh, okay, now what we should see is, I'm gonna hit this button, he's gonna drop, get pushed over into the bubble vader, up to the top, the cannon will then launch him, we should see an anvil fly over it. <laughs> I mean, who, this ain't gonna really work, let, let, let's be honest here. But anyways, let's pretend it's gonna work. Uh, drop, push, ho! Oh. oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, lag, lag. Ho! Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, that was amazing. Okay, uh, holy crap. That went farther than I thought. Okay, so it landed like around here. All right, we got to take out some of this carpet here and we got to see exactly where it's landing because the carpet obviously is popping it off. So once we get the carpet gone, it should land and we should be able to see exactly where it needs to fall through here. Calibration shot number two, go down, over, up. Up the elevator of lagginess, over, and clang. Okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> this is like, this is great. This is great. So, in theory now, this is the hole that it wants to go through, I think. So the question is, is it going to land on top of that? I think it's going to land on top of that. So let's grab some of these fancy honey blocks now. And do a little swoop, and we'll do eh, eh, eh. And now what should happen is it should fly over here and go fuck, stick to the honey and just glide right down, in theory. And we should see an anvil right down there. Calibration shot number three, go. Over, up. Oh, we got a zombie down there. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And fly in. No. We already got zombies down there. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it broke. Okay. That's not good. All right, more signs. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, it took some tries, but this is the hole we've got dug out here. I had, to, I had to dig out a little bit more than I wanted to, but it's kind of expected given how far we're launching the anvil. The anvil comes through like right at an angle, so I had to take out this block and this block. But we have a three stack of honey blocks now, so the anvil hits somewhere in between these two, hits, does the sticky sticky thing, and then just kind of bleh, slides down and lands on uh, this extended piston head. That does not need to be a sticky piston. And the observer gets checked. So once it lands here, it turns into a solid block again. And that's when the observer gets an update, okay? But again, the anvil takes no damage. So look at all my little stairs here. Hi, creeper. This guy's been staring at me. 
<laughs> he's been staring at me for like an hour now. Oh, he's so sad. You're on the wrong side of the thing. Go on the inside so you can get a shout out to greater glory. <laughs> okay, so observer ticks, blah, 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 blah. We're here. Stuff and things happens and everything. And then delay, delay. All right. And then the, the piston head retracts. And then this slime block here is going to punt the anvil down there somewhere. That's the theory. So if I do this, I haven't tried this yet. Oh, okay. It worked. It worked. What did it hit? Uh, wait, what? Why? Oh, it stole the slime block. Yeah, that's got to be not sticky. Okay, let's try that again. Go, retract, put. I said push. Oh, <laughs> hey, Sparky, it helps if you put the <laughs> helps you put the slime block back. Okay, uh, one more try. Go, out, push. Good. Okay, wow, it's falling all the way down to the cactus farm. Excellent. All right, so what we need to do now is make something down here. Okay. Something like, where's this thing? Something like probably right around here that is pushing up. Okay, we, I want to have like a little bar of, oh, it's got to happen before all this nonsense. Yeah, oh, this is going to get tricky here. I don't want to mess with my with my iron farm here. Uh, yeah, it's going to fly down here and we got we to boing it back up and go over this. And then I'm hoping it has enough oomph to launch through the hole in the wall there or something. So, yeah. Wow, that was all sorts of messed up. Okay, so I pretty much redid all this. I fixed the issues with the slime block being moved around and stuff. So anyways, now what I've got is a bar right down there, okay? The idea now is I'm going to put the anvil here. That's going to pull back. This guy's going to boop the snoot, and it's going to go down there and hit that guy. Somewhere on there, I'm hoping, and I'm hoping the timing is roughly right where that kind of goes in eh, and lifts up at the right time and just launches it that way. Basically, if this doesn't turn into a block and it flies yonder, I'm happy. Let's try. No. <laughs> Not at all. What did it do? Oh, the lag is so bad, I can't even tell what happened. Uh, okay, let's try it again. Okay, it's coming, up, it's coming up too soon. All right, I got some repeaters here. We got Max Max. Let's try that one and get rid of you. Figuring out the timings on the fly here. Let's see. Oh, 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 that was okay. That totally launcherficated. All right. Oh, now what we need to do is we got to figure out. Oh, this is going so good. All right, so it's coming down here. It's bouncing here, and it's getting super bounced up in the air now it's probably like right there we need to cut let's just cut a giant hole and then we'll figure it out from there but we're getting good here at this point now we can put a hole oh, okay we can put a anvil in our primer thing it's going to come up here down here down there over and it should bounce up through this ceiling so let's cut a hole. Super Bouncerator slime pad is in and we have an excessive gap here that we will definitely narrow once we figure out where these things, where, where it needs to be. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's going up and it should fly overhead, go in the hole and hopefully it'll bounce right at our face. That's what I'm hoping. Here it comes. Whoo. Well, that's not bad. Okay. Well, this thing's in the way. <laughs> oh, am I going to be able to get over the lip here? Oh, I might have to. Yeah, we got work to do. I got to take this out now, and I got to lower it over. I got to probably lower that. Well, it's working. Finally, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. Okay, so a couple of realizations I made. One real big gotcha that I hadn't figured out. Hi there, Creeper. How's it going? Just hanging out. <laughs> the the biggest thing I mistake I made, or not mistake, but realization is that when this anvil goes so much lower into that... Uh, bubble Vader, it's a lot lower than my test case, so it's gaining a lot more speed, so it changed the vertical uh, acceleration up top and everything, and basically it changed the impact point over here. So, I got to move this a little bit forward, which was a good thing, uh, which also meant I had to move all this redstone forward and everything, but we're basically done though. It hits the honey block, it slides down, it pops out right there, <laughs> goes up the bubble vader, and up and out the cannon. So I'm going to show you guys a good look at this from the camera account. <laughs>
You know, sometimes I think I might like my job a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, I had fun editing that. All right, so all that's left now is to turn this into obviously a better looking cannon. So we need to give it this great, and again, we're gonna follow it and make it look just like the, whoa, hey, everything's fine. It's just gonna go over here for a little bit now. I don't know what it is with me lately, but I fall off everything. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna make it look just like the, uh, the, the creeper cannons down there. So like that. Two, three, maybe four, and a five and a six, something like that. And then we're gonna put the uh, the cyan terracotta as the the kind of the rim around it as well. Two, three, four, five, six. I think I had an extra block in there. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Let's see what I can make this look like. That's about as good as it's gonna get. There she goes. <laughs> That's so fun to watch. Uh, yeah, so we, like I said, we copied the, the kind of cannon down below. I had some limitations, you know, where the elevator was, so I had to work with that. Eh, I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough. Now, my goal is, like I said, I want to get, I want to get like three or four of these up here. I think I want to get one over on this side, probably like right about here or so shooting out into the orange one without messing up the iron farm. And then I think maybe next episode, maybe the one after it, I've got a build planned for, it's gonna go right outside the backyard. I think you guys are gonna really like that one. Uh, and I wanna put a, like a cannon shooting out into that tower as well. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll, you know, we just get a few of them going out everywhere. I think it's gonna be amazing. All right, there is one more thing I want to do now, and that is to put some smokestacks on top of the iron farm tower here. I've been kind of hitting at this for a while here. I think I want to do two kind of derpy looking bent like charcoal smoke towers up on top here and I want to get like a whole ton of campfires inside to get a little smoke action going. So I'm not sure. I want to, I got like, I only really have this much gray concrete. I want to do gray concrete with like some black perimeters around it I think and I'm not sure. I think I've only got space for two like one here and here kind of in the front because I want to, like I said, I want to leave space in the back to launch anvils and I don't want those getting stuck in smokestacks. Well, there is the first one. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. It's a little bit on the big side. I think I'll make the next one a little bit narrower. I think make one like short and stumpy and the other one tall and skinny maybe. And of course, being the cartoon theme, I tried to make them like a little bit on the derpy side. It's really hard at this scale though to make something kind of crooked and stuff without just looking bad. But I think that's not too bad. Uh, eh. All right, the second smokestack stop. <laughs> <laughs> that is hard to say. The second smoke stack tower is in. Say that one ten times fast. All right. Uh, so now, obviously, the thing we need to do now is put in some smoke coming out of these things. So I think we're going to go with some campfires here. Like so. I got this little submerged platform here. A little thing like this. Now, here's the deal, okay? To my knowledge, this is something... Uh, again, I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm a noob at this game, all right? But... If you put some hay bales under the smokestacks, under the campfires, they turn into like super duper extra smoke signalators or something, and the smoke goes extra far. So I want to sprinkle in some of those just to get like an extra little uh, little flavor in here or something, I think. And we'll put smoke campfires on those like that. And then a couple of regular ones in here, just crazy go nuts, why not? Try not to kill myself. And then we want to cover up the campfires with some black wool to make it look all dark and mysterious and fiery and deadly inside there. Because why not? And dun, 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 dun. Extra smoke. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. You know, one of these days I gotta stop doing that. I, the last five minutes of this video have been recorded with like a screen half off the OBS recording system. The problem is I've got two monitors, okay? And they run at different resolutions. One's at like 1440p and the other one's at 1080p. And if I move Minecraft to one on the other side and then bring it back, OBS doesn't pick it up right size and it gets all janky and borked off the side of the mon- ah! <sighs> No one is more aggravated than me at that. I do apologize, guys. Maybe some of you didn't even notice. If not, more power to you, but I apologize. That's, that's unbearable. Anyways. Let's uh, let's take a look at our flying anvils <laughs> and our smokestacks. I think they turned out pretty good. I think they had the right size, a little bit on the chunky side, but that's okay. The best part though is that they're kind of like, they're a little bit on the derpy side. They're all bent over and stuff. I think there's just the right amount of smoke in there. I like it. Yeah. I am very pleased with how those turn. They're kind of like Dr. Susie and they're like a little bit, a little bit crooked to one side and not too straight. Pretty good stuff. I like them.
All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. It is late. I want to get this video out for you tomorrow. Again, I do really apologize for that screen resolution on the second half of the video there. Gah, I will try to be better on that. I will try to be better. But hopefully you guys like our little anvil bouncing game. I'm excited to make more of these to get more of an effect going on and the silos. I want to keep working on this base. I don't want to let it linger all season. We got to get it done. That's going to do it for today. You guys are amazing. I'm punching the screen way too much. Goodbye.